Hey guys, it's William. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing amazing. Today we are going to make another fantastic matcha recipe since I'm going to show you how to make my matcha and white chocolate brownies. These brownies are out of this world when it comes to the taste of matcha and white chocolate but also of the texture. They are so chewy and so fudgy. It's amazing and quite frankly impossible to beat. I got inspired from my white chocolate and matcha cookies that you all loved, so I know that you are going to enjoy this recipe just as much, so let's get right into it. This recipe today is so easy and so quick to make. You're not gonna need any standing mixer or anything complicated. We are first of all going to use some melted butter that I'm going to put in my bowl and to that I'm going to add some granulated white sugar as well as some brown sugar. This will create the best texture and taste of course. And I'm also going to add some vanilla extract, always important in my recipes. And I'm just going to mix that together with a whisk for a few seconds or until it's all incorporated. Time to work on the matcha powder and I'm basically going to use some pure matcha powder to which I'm going to add some water. This is cold water and I'm just going to create a paste out of it. I'm just going to mix really well and you have to be a little bit patient but it will end up as a paste and then you will add that to our preparation. This is just to make sure that we don't have any lumps. Everything looks green and fabulous. It is now time to add two large eggs. And as you can see, the consistency will now look more like guacamole than just regular brownie batter, but it's okay. It's delicious just as well. And then we'll add the dry ingredients. Time to work on the dry ingredients and now I'm going to add some all-purpose flour to which I'm going to add some baking soda, always important in my brownie recipes. It's just enough to create that brownie texture but not to create a cake basically. And then you are also going to use a bit of cornstarch for chewiness and some salt, always very important when it comes to baking. A nice pinch of salt and then I'm just going to mix everything together before working on the white chocolate chips. For the chocolate chips here, you can definitely use some dark chocolate, milk chocolate or white chocolate. I do think personally that white chocolate just is the best when it comes to matcha since it is so sweet and so delicious with the bitter taste of matcha. I'm just going to chop up some chocolate myself just to make sure that I use the best quality chocolate ever since white chocolate chips can sometimes be just too sweet and too sugary. So I'm just going to do that and incorporate my chocolate chips and the brownie batter will be done. As you can see here, I'm using a square cake pan. This is a 20 centimeter cake pan, which equals to eight inches. And I actually greased it and lined it with some parchment paper just to make sure that our brownies come out really well and without any fuss. And then I'm going to spread my gorgeous cake batter and bake our brownies in our preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 in Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. My sweet spot is around 18 minutes to have the best chewiness and tenderness and just fudginess all over the place. Just make sure that the sides are golden brown but the center is still a bit jiggly. I actually recommend eating these brownies cold so I always put them in the fridge for about two to three hours minimum before cutting them and as you can see the texture is right on point. And that's it, that's how you make my fabulous and soon to be famous white chocolate and matcha brownies. These are delicious and I've said this many, many times. As you can see, I'm very excited with this recipe. The results are just 
amazing. So make sure to try this recipe and give it a go. You won't be disappointed. The full list of ingredients is in the description box down under this video, as well as my social media, so Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Please also give this channel a subscribe and a like for this video and a comment if you want to chat. I'll be very happy to respond and I'll see you very soon for another amazing and sweet recipe. Bye!